Hey folks, this is how to import new draft classes into ESPN 2K5. I'm using the PS2 version on the PC SX2 emulator. First thing you're going to need, a couple programs. My MC is going to be how we import and export our franchise save file from our memory cards. So you will need a 2K5 franchise file already saved. I recommend waiting until week eight before you do this because you won't see the rookie report before week eight. I think it's week eight. That's how you confirm that this worked and you can see your draft class. I'll show that later. Draft classes, of course, and this program, which is a game save editor. This is how we're going to open up our franchise file and import, export the draft class that we need in there. First step is going to be to use the game save editor to extract our draft class. To do that, open, navigate out to our draft classes. Make sure that files of type is going to be a zip. Otherwise, I think it will show up. I'm doing 2006, so open this. Here you'll see all the teams. What we want to do is go to the left of the 49ers to see free agents. This is our draft class. 2006, we know Joseph Adai was in there, so this is good. Right-click anywhere, export team. I like to just name it the same as, just keep it consistent like that. Save. Now the that team is exported. Next step is going to be to import that into our franchise file, but we don't have the franchise file out yet, so we have to use my MC to export that. To do so, I'm in PowerShell, by the way. PowerShell differs a little bit from command line, I think. I'm more of a Unix person, but anyway, open up PowerShell. I'm using Visual Studio Code just because I want to. Anyway, same thing. So, first of all, to check out what is in the contents of our memory card, we're going to do, so this is just navigating to the program, my MC. First argument is going to be the location of your mem card, so that's going to follow just the install location of pcsxx2 slash mem cards slash default name is mcd0001 the ps2 so and then the dir lists the contents enter and we see contents of a memory card the name we're going to be looking for is the bassless one we don't care about this just this we care about this so let's copy this now second command we're going to want to run is our export command so again it's my MC, first argument being memory card location. Then we want to do export dash M. And now this dash M flag will export it as the dot MAX, not a dot PSU. You need dot MAX for the game save editor to work, so don't forget that flag. And then the name of what we just copied, which is, oops, just that. This is going to save it to the active directory we're in, which is just going to be, for me, my home folder. So, export it. Good. So now, we go back to our game save editor. Open. We're going to want to open that file we just created, so I'm going to go out to this PC. Well, okay. Sorry. Nick. <laughs> to the bottom here of our franchise. Open that. Now, if we go to the left, we see a draft class, and then we see just other random names. This is actually the 05 draft class. We got Mary and Barbara here, but this is the same process. So now instead of export, of course, we want to import our team. Find it again. 06, open. Gonna give a quick warning, Hit yes. Import complete. It's fine. Okay, now make sure you save. We'll save button up here, and then save complete, max file updated. So now that that save file is going to be what we want, next we need to import that back into our memory card. So to do this, now I'm going to show it not working 
first because I want to, I don't know how to get over this, but I know how to fix it. So if I just do my regular memory card and I do import, it complains that the directory exists. The easiest way to remedy that I found is to create a new memory card. So all you do is go into your emulator, go to config memory cards, create, create one. And it'll appear in the unused card section. So you want to click on it and then hit insert, which would be eject. I already have two in here, of course. This will get over that directory conflict because I wasn't sure how to like rename the like the file itself. So do that, and then you need to actually open up, go to uh, open it or run, sorry, the emulator. Make sure you're on no disk, and then go into your memory card, just like old school days, and click on your memory card, and it'll ask to format it. You hit yes. So make sure you do that. So once your memory card's inserted virtually and formatted, then we can actually use the other memory card. So I think when I get my memory, I was called memory two, import. And then again, since we are in the active directory of Nick and this is where this file is, we can just hit enter here and it'll import that in there. Cool. So now we can do that same, if we wanted to, the same dir command on our second memory card. We see the one corrupt from before I tried doing this and we have our franchise. So we're done and you can check